Oh, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, we're going to use the COUNTIF function. I'll demonstrate two uses of the COUNTIF function. What is the COUNTIF function? The COUNTIF function counts the number of values in a range that meet a criteria. We'll use COUNTIF to answer this question. How many employees do we have in each of these departments? Next, we'll use count if as part of data validation. We're going to be assigning employee numbers and we want to ensure that each number is unique. We will use count if as part of that process. Let's begin. Our question is, how many employees do we have in each department? I began by selecting the cells in A2 through B27 and naming that range department. I love to use names in my formulas. It makes it easier to write the formula and easier to explain the formula. Let's begin. Equals count if left parentheses. Let's use the function arguments dialog box. We can see that there are two required arguments. The first is the range, which will be our department. Since I've already named it, let's use the F3 shortcut and select department as the range name. For our criteria, what we want to do is we want to evaluate to have it match the label for the department. So in this case, cell D3. And now we can see using count if that we have three employees in the accounting department. Copying our formula down, we can see the employee headcount. So if one of our employees in marketing were to transfer over to sales, then our employee count is automatically updated because we use the count if function. Now let's apply count if as part of data validation. We're going to be using a variation of the count if function. Remember two arguments. Our first argument is the range. In this case, it's going to be the range of A2 through A27. The reason that I have dollar signs in front of the column and the letter is that I want to make sure that this is an absolute range, that it will not change. I could have also named that range. For our second argument, the criteria is it will evaluate against the cell. And these cells are relative, so they will move down and change as we copy the formula down. The variation to make this unique in our data validation is the say equals 1. Let's put this to use. So let's select cell A2 and go up to data validation. In data validation for our settings, we want to allow a formula. So we choose custom and then we will write in our formula. Let's just move this down just a little bit. Equals count if left parentheses. For our range, I'm going to drag through A2 through A27. Now remember, I want to make this absolute. So here's a shortcut. The F4 key supplies dollar signs in front of the column, in front of the uh, row. And let's do the same for the other end of the range. Our second argument is the criteria. So comma, and then we will point to cell A2, the first cell in our uh, range. Now let's close off the parentheses. To make this unique equals 1. And now let's click OK. Now remember, at this point, we've only applied data validation to one cell. Let's apply it to the other cells. First, let's copy the cell, and we'll select the other cells that we want to have a data validation applied to. Right mouse click, choose Paste Special, and choose Validation. So now all of the cells will have the data validation. Let's start to enter an employee number, 111. 222. Now, if someone new comes in and we tell them to enter in a three digit employee number and they accidentally enter in 111, then they get the error message. Our data validation using count if has enforced integrity in our unique numbers. So now we'll have to go back and type in a new number, 333. So it's that easy. You see that by using count if we can get an accurate up to date count of the number of employees in each department and then by using a variation of it we have used count if as part of data validation to ensure that all of the employee numbers are going to be unique values. I'll see you in the next lesson.